Welcome to the very first episode of uh, this show. I guess I'm just gonna call it "Thrifting with Thrifting with Holland." Maybe. Anyway, I go and try to find, you know, neat things at Goodwill and Vendors Mall, and uh, I'm gonna share with you some of my finds. Okay, first up uh, is a find. Uh, I didn't even know that um, Avon made videos, but apparently Avon makes videos. As you can see, Avon down there. This is Muffet Babies. Yeah, it's Muffet Babies. Favorite storybook uh, videos, you know. It's Kermit the Frog, and yeah, that probably looks backwards. I don't know why it looks backwards. Maybe it won't look backwards on the video. But, yeah, anyway, it's Muffet Babies, and basically, it's just like a uh, storybook, I guess Guess you would call it. Uh, Kermit sits in, a, sits in a chair, and, you know, he's just telling stories about the Muffet Babies. Uh, this is the favorite one. Apparently, I looked on Amazon, they released many volumes of these. Um, this one has seven stories, uh, Meet the Muffet Babies. Baby Piggy and the Giant Bubble, Kermit the Hermit, What's a Gonzo, a long, actually not a long, a love note for Baby Piggy, If I Were Just Like Kermit, and Animal Go Bye Bye. Yeah, Muffet Babies, neat little find, found this for a dollar at uh, a Goodwill in Prestonsburg. Here's another thing, I just had to get it because it was just so cheesy, and you know, I like cheese. And yeah, I know it's for a girl because it's Barbie. <laughs> Barbie's dance off. But when I seen that it had a special appearance by Paula Abdul, I just had to get it. Oh, by the way, the um, the Muffet Babies video was uh, released in 87 by Avon. Uh, Must have commissioned them or something. But Kid Classics... Um, it was who put it out anyway back to this barbie tape it's a uh, by mattel you know it's just so friggin weird like the back of the box you see all these girls dancing and there's Paul abdul straight up tell me is this really gonna suck but anyway just reading the back of the box is just funny everybody's dancing at the barbie dance club dance along to six hot songs Written exclusively for Barbie. Oh, wow. Learn to do the Barbie dance from Paula Abdul. Yes, Paula herself. And no, I did not make that up. It actually says it on the back of the box. She takes you step by easy step. You'll love it. Try to guess the winners in a dance contest. Wow. See Barbie doll in her own music videos and sizzling fashion show video. Wow. Watch interviews with the Barbie Dance Club DJ. It's all right here on home video. So put on your dancing shoes and join the fun. <laughs> Let's go to Barbie's Dance Club. Anyway, includes these hot songs. Doing the Barbie. Yeah, I'm sure Ken would like to be doing the Barbie. Our Game. Dreaming. Everybody's dancing. I'm just fucking sitting here. I'm not dancing. Shut up, video, you lie! Bopping away. No, I'm not going to be bopping away. At least not to Barbie. Maybe I'll be bopping away if they made a live-action Barbie porn. But anyway, and I like it. I like it. I haven't even watched it yet. It's probably crap. And also, they put it in here, including clips from Barbie commercials. Oh, wow! Barbie commercials! Original music written and performed by Jerry and Cheryl Caglesi or something. I don't know who in the hell they are, but yeah, you never can tell. Okay, moving on. This is probably on DVD for, the, for nostalgic reasons. Uh, I just had to pick this up. Oh, yeah, the Barbie video's from 1989, by the way. I just had to pick this up, because, I mean, everybody's got to love some Foxworthy. This is Jeff Foxworthy's uh, first live Showtime special. 
you might be a redneck elf. And uh, yeah, I mean the box is not in the greatest condition, but yeah, I mean it's Jeff Boxworthy. This is uh, from '94, I believe. Let me look here. The special itself is actually from 91, but this VHS is from 1994. Yeah, Jeff Boxwood. Okay, let's see here. Moving on. You remember when Billy Ray Cyrus came out and everybody was like, don't break my heart, Mikey, break your heart? Well, with this, Billy Ray Cyrus live, you can see the mullet in action. Yeah, you can see the mullet in action. Yeah, it's hard to show you this without the glare. This is from 1982. 1982. Shit, Billy wasn't around yet. This is Billy Ray Cyrus live on tour. 1992. Has uh, Should I Stay or Should I Go? Uh, yeah, you could go pretty much. These boots are made for walking. Oh, is that what they're for? She's not crying anymore? No, because she got over your ass. Where am I going to live? Well, you could live in a homeless shelter. Someday, somewhere, somehow. I don't know what you're going to do, but okay. Could have been me. Yeah, and it could it could have been you. I'm so miserable. Ah, oh, hell, Billy Ray, you are too? Never thought I'd fall in love with you. We all think that shit. Ain't no good goodbyes. Yeah, they are if the girl's really a bitch and you just want to tell her to leave. Uh, some gave all. Yes, yeah, some did gave all, and some gave none. Uh, only time will tell. Yeah, that's what they say. It won't be the last. Well, it's not the first either. Achy, breaky heart. Did it finally blow up and kill this man? And the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, you better believe it. Some Billy Ray Live. Okay, that was, that all was found at a Prestonsburg Goodwill, as well as, uh, Disney seen it pretty much complete in the box. Well, I was at the Hazard Goodwill today, and I found this uh, documentary series about FDR. It's still sealed. I don't know if I'm going to open this or not, but, I mean, it's four tapes. It's from 1994. Uh, volume 1 is The Center of the World, which is years 1882 to 1921. Volume 2 is Fear Itself, 1921 to 1933. Volume 3 is The Grandest Job in the World, 1933 to 1940. And Volume 4 is The Juggler, 1940 to 1945. Narrated by David McCulloch. Yeah, this this is probably interesting. It says it's over four and a half hours long. So, yeah. I picked that up at the Goodwill and has. Okay, I'm going to show you um, two of my finds that I found at a vendor's mall. And uh, in Vico, this was, uh, well, Scuddy, um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It's a read-along CD book. But what's interesting about this one, yeah, of course, you get the CD and you got the book in here to follow along with. It's a 32-page book. But this one, you put it in a computer and you can read the book, listen, uh, like, and follow along while they read it to you, or you can actually read it yourself. I'm trying to not get the glare on it. This is, this is like, from 2001. As you can see there, it shows you the book. Sadly, it is missing the bonus cassette. But, yeah, not a, not a too bad of a find. And, uh, if I can get it here. Ah, shit, just about fell out of my chair. Yes, this is so great, I just fell out of my chair, folks. Oh, shit, I should have had all my shit laying here by me. <laughs> anyway, this is a Cameron Diaz, Natalie, from Charlie's Angels doll. Still in the box, yeah. It's by Jack Specific who made the action figures, and we got glare from hell. And eh, there's the back of the box. This, this like really sucks. All this glare and shit. But anyway, that's about all the cool finds I found. Um, I'll be uploading these from time to time. I don't plan on going all the time to these vendors malls and shit. But I just thought you all would enjoy an episode of Thrifting with Holland. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to call it because um, 
adventures in thrifting just sounds too gay.